What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at again with another video and I'm gonna be checking out The Fiend attacking Seth Rollins after he wins his Universal Championship match at Clash of Champions. Now, I did watch some of Clash of Champions, not all of it, mainly because I was busy editing videos and trying to make sure everything was set up for... Um, me and the homie dubs uh live on our other page on the inner clutch page for the best moves wwe best moves uh best moves of august so we was trying to get that set up so i wasn't really able to check it out but uh the whole thing the whole pay-per-view but i was able to check out um the uh um becky lynch and the sasha banks match to be honest that was pretty much the only match i was really interested in and it seemed like that was one of the best matches of the night like the crowd was really hot for that match and i enjoyed it it was entertaining i'm looking forward to what they do to continue the feud i enjoyed that match the women are holding it down and it's good to see sasha banks uh in the main event spot when it comes to just the women's division as she should have been before she uh left so it's, it's just dope seeing that and i'm looking forward to what happens in the future with them but that was the only match i really cared about to be honest with you i didn't really care about the seth rollins and braun Strowman match so i didn't really get a chance to watch that but reason why i bring all this up is because while the live stream was going on in the clutch page people in the chat were saying the fiend attacks bray wyatt i had a feeling seth was gonna win because it only made sense for seth to win and they kind of build it up as whoever wins out of this match will be facing bray wyatt at uh hell in a cell so i'm gonna see this i'm pretty sure this was pretty dope um so i'm gonna check it out it's not a long clip so uh, i'm gonna give my thoughts and opinions on it because i hadn't really seen it yet and I'm kind of excited. Last time The Fiend made his appearance on television uh, at a pay-per-view, it was entertaining. I think this is going to be entertaining as well, so let's get right into it. Okay, two stomps. Okay, three stomps. <laughs> Michael Cole out there in the background just cutting up, selling this 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 commentary. Oh, he hit him with the pedigree. Okay. Damn. It took four stomps on the pedigree. <laughs> the little kid's surprised. What? Braun Strowman lost? Braun is not winning no major championships in WWE for a very long time. Uh-oh. I accidentally muted the audio. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm so slow, y'all. <laughs> I muted the audio. I don't know how I did that. Wow. A frog splash from a guy his size? That's pretty dope. Wow. Oh, this this visual looks nice. He got the hurt. The hurt hand. Ah, oh, the mandible claw. He got the hurt and heel hand uh, hands going on. Wow. Wow. And you can hear the crowd loving it. That's that's dope. That's dope. I'm rocking with that. Um, I'm all for it, man. I know it's kind of uh, you people can say it's a little bit too soon for Bray to be getting a, a championship title opportunity, but he's the most over thing in WWE. Uh, I wish the clip was a little bit longer. Kind of played out. They kind of cut through and whatnot. I'm pretty sure it was probably for some copyright reasons, so they just kind of cut through. But I kind of got the gist of it. He cut. Pretty much the show is about to end. You can see the little title card at the bottom right. Show's about to end. Bray Wyatt comes out of attacks. 
and you can hear that initial pop from the crowd let you know he is the most over thing in the company and they gotta go with the hot hand because they haven't built up anyone else to really face Seth Rollins after Braun Strowman so it's like all right he's the most over guy in the company we're gonna go with him and honestly Bray should be the new Universal Champion and I'm okay with it because Seth as champion has been so boring to me and stale and I just don't care I don't, I'm, I'm tired of hearing burn it down I'm tired of hearing that shit like I'm tired of it nah I just am I, I want to see a fresh new champion and if it happens to be Bray Wyatt as the Fiend I'm all for it. The guy has gotten himself over just with his own creativeness and how he's portraying his character. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. So, Hell in a Cell, that's probably going to be announced at some point. It's obviously going to happen. And I see The Fiend winning the championship. He should not lose for a very long time. If he loses any match especially this match they have ruined his character and i'm pretty sure the the crowd will shit all over that they have to give him the win and since it's gonna be a hell in a cell you don't have to worry about disqualification anything goes like i said i'm not sure you know it they could change something but we'll see what happens on monday night raw if something dope happens i would definitely react to it and put it on here for you guys if i find out anything dope happens i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to check out raw tomorrow but if something does happen i will check it out with you guys so um also if they do upload some um class of champion highlights i'll check them out if you guys are interested let me know comment down below if you want me to check out some class of champions highlights and maybe it'll show an extended version of uh the fiend attacking uh seth rollins but i'm all for it as long as the fiend gets the dub that's all that matters to me this was pretty dope like i said crowd loved it and i can't wait to see what happens next man so looking forward to seeing just a little bit what happens on monday night raw so make sure you like this video appreciate all the love and support and uh i'll be seeing y'all on uh, sometime later on this week maybe tomorrow depending on uh what happens on monday night raw so i appreciate y'all kicking in with me and i'll see y'all on the next one peace